Congratulations to the Predators. What a wonderful season, one they will always remember for giving back. You know, we will honor three community leaders throughout this show. And the first is someone who probably spent an awful lot of time in this lacrosse box and still does. Find any other lacrosse box, find a lacrosse field, find a lacrosse stick, you will likely find Josh Wall. He has been the president of Poco Saints Lacrosse for the last 10 years, but he grew up playing the game in Poco, coaching and helping in every which way he could. His love for the game, very evident when he talks about what lacrosse means to him here in Poco. I guess when I was just out of high school, I, I stopped playing for a while, but I want to stay in the game, so I started coaching right away in, in probably 94. And uh, I just fell in love with coaching after that and, and have been doing it ever since. What do you like about it? Just giving back to the game. I love the game. I like the kids, uh, you know, you, uh, meeting, meeting people, um, you know, just being involved in the game and, and being able to still be part of it after you couldn't play anymore. And so. Do you, there's not really been a lack of success for what you've done, but I, I think it seems like a lot of coaches go in and, and hey, it's nice to win, you got kids trying hard, mm -hmm. but what do you hope someone would say about Coach Wall if you know they, they finished three or four years later and they're, they're now 25, 26, that maybe they learned while they were under your guidance? Um, just same thing, I hope they fall in love with the sport and um... Are there life lessons? You're gonna make me. No, no, no. I mean, are, but are there lessons? I mean, I think you just you're playing, you're playing. But I think you, it, it probably must be rewarding if you're rolling into a waves or someone you see something you haven't seen for three or four years. Do you get that to happen once in a while? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so I gotta compose myself. Oh, that's okay. Hey, that you know what? The great thing is if you got emotion, that's what means the most. And is that emotion coming because? Uh, if I'm going to hazard a guess, that you probably influence a lot of kids. Yeah, I, I hope so. Is that why you got into it, or just kind of, you got into it because of the sport, and then you realize that you are, you, you can be a big factor for some kids? Yeah, initially, initially that's why, for sure, just because of the sport, and then, you know, seeing kids over the years, and now there's kids who are giving back and coaching themselves, and some of the kids I coached have kids now, and and just seeing that and, and, and it continues on and passing on the torch sort of thing and, and yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, well, growing up, lacrosse was instantly like our world. I grew a love for the sport just as much as he has a love for. As soon as I was old enough to put a stick in my hands, um, I've grown up with him as my role model, coaching me, helping me figure out sports. If uh, lacrosse is my sport, which it became my sport very quickly, um, and it's our whole family. Like my dad coaches so many teams, obviously. Now I ref, I've helped coach teams too with him. My older brother refs and my younger brothers play. So it's like a family marriage to the sport, I would say. I think just in, in Port Coquitlam, we, you know, the, our club was probably in the 80s before my time, obviously, but it was big, like lacrosse was a big community sport and those numbers decreased over time and whether it's people moving out to the valley or, or whatever different demographics, but now we're trying to build it back up again and so we're out in the community and we're working hard in the schools and we're recruiting and, and getting just people who haven't seen the game involved and then, you know, we got great numbers right now at the lower level and, and our job now is to, is to retain those kids and keep them coming back every year. 